Hello everyone, we are going to go ahead and get started with finding the difference part A lesson 10.1. All right, for question checking, you guys, let's go ahead and make sure those listening ears are turned on, eyes are on my screen. You can hold up cactus hands for me, show me that you're not holding any toys, pencils, markers, anything that could distract you, and go ahead and wave good morning to each other. You can put your hands down and take a deep breath. Go ahead and let that breath out. Are you going to give this lesson your absolute best? Give me two thumbs up. Fantastic. Remember that we are recording every lesson that we have here so that you can go back and watch the recording again if you need to. And don't forget about our classroom rules. Lesson goals for today. I can find the missing difference in a compare problem using a model. So good morning. Today I'm going to help you go through your lesson on finding the difference with models. In today's lesson, we're going to um, look at a few different activities together and continue practicing how to find the difference. So we have three steps in problem solving. Understand it, plan it, and solve it. Sorry guys, my um, I'm re-recording this part because my finger slipped, okay. So let's go ahead and read the question and the problem. That is step one, understand it. 14 books are on a shelf. Five books are on a table. How many more books are on the shelf than on the table? So I know that I have two parts, right? I have 14 books on a shelf. That's one part. And I have five books on a table. That's my other part. Now my question is, how many more books are on the shelf than on the table. And I've circled some words there too. So I have 14 books on the shelf, five books on the table. My question is how many more books are on the shelf than on the table? In order to figure out how many more books are on the shelf than on the table, I have to find the difference between the two to see what makes them different. And in order to do that, I need to subtract to find that amount, okay? So now what I can do is I can move on to step two, plan it. Um, I don't know why there are shapes here, sorry about that, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the number sentence method to solve. Square minus square equals square. Okay, now I'm trying to find the difference between the two amounts I've been given. So 14 minus 5 equals what? I can draw a picture to help me. So I'm going to draw 14 books or 14 rectangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm taking away five, so let's go ahead and subtract five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which means 14 minus five equals nine. Sorry guys, poor choice of colors. Um, and so how many more books are on the shelf than on the table? Nine books. That is the difference between 14 and five is nine, nine books, voila. Okay, friends, so now we're going to have we do time. You can pause this recording. If you need a brain break, take that, and then you can come back. You can press play when you're ready. All right, assuming you're ready to go, let's go ahead and work through this problem. Step one, understand it. Let's read the problem. Natalie has six tomatoes and 13 peppers. My question is, 
how many fewer tomatoes than peppers does Natalie have? Natalie has six tomatoes and 13 peppers. How many fewer tomatoes than peppers does Natalie have? And I'm also going to circle some of these words because they're very important. When I see how many fewer and the word than, how many fewer tomatoes than peppers does Natalie have? Again, they're wanting you to find the difference between the two parts. Six is a part, 13 is a part. I'm trying to find the difference between the two. Okay, I need to subtract in order to find the difference between the two. So now we're going to move on to step two, plan it. I'm using the number sentence strategy to solve, to plan and solve. So I would love it if you could write that on your board, square minus square equals square. Pause this recording, press play when you have that on your board. Assuming you're ready to continue, let's go ahead and plug in what we know. I know that I have six tomatoes and 13 peppers as my parts. I also know in a subtraction sentence, I need to write the larger number or the larger part first when subtracting. 13 and then six. Because I can take six from 13, but I cannot take 13 from six. Okay. Now I have 13 minus 6 equals what? I can go ahead and draw a picture to help me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's take away 6 from that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six and let's count how many we have left actually i'm going to pause here because i'm zooming through this i will pause you catch up you can press play when you are ready okay assuming you have this let's go ahead and continue one two three four five six seven which means 13 minus six equals seven seven what seven tomatoes There we go. You can have all of this on your board when you're finished. Um, Learning Coach, if you could take a picture of it, send it to me on Class Dojo email or text message so that your student receives credit for working this problem. All right, friends, you can go ahead and take a well-deserved brain break, pause this recording, and press play when you are ready to continue. Okay guys, it is time for you do time. I want you to work through this problem. I will complete step one, understand it with you, and part of step two, plan it. And then you are going to finish planning and solving on your own. So let's go ahead and first read the problem. A vase holds six red roses and 14 yellow roses. How many fewer red roses than yellow roses are in the vase? Okay, so I know that there are six red roses and 14 yellow roses. Those are my two parts, right? My question is, how many, oops, sorry guys, erase that. There we go. How many fewer red roses? then yellow roses are in the vase. I'm also going to circle the word fewer and than. So I have a vase that holds six red roses and a vase that holds 14 yellow roses. My question is how many fewer red roses than yellow roses 
are in the vase. I have to subtract to find the difference between the two. Excuse the babbling. Someone woke, woke up early from their nap. Um, so we have our number sentence strategy to help us plan this problem. So I want you on your board to have your number sentence strategy drawn or written, and then we're plugging in what we've been given. So I know that I have six red roses and 14 yellow roses. However, I need to remember to write my larger amount first because I can take six from 14, but I cannot take 14 from six, okay? So I have 14 minus six equals, you are going to finish the rest. You can pause this recording, please pause it and be honest. I want you to work through it the best that you can. Show your work. You can draw a picture to help you. And then Learning Coach, you will text, email, or Class Dojo a picture of your student's completed work. And then you can press play when you are finished to check. Okay, assuming you're done, picture has been sent, let's go ahead and work through the problem. Check your work. 14 minus 6, I'm going to draw a picture to help me. I'm going to draw 14 circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now I'm going to take away six from 14. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count what's left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 14 minus six equals eight. Eight what? Eight red roses. How many fewer red roses than yellow roses? are in the vase, eight red roses. All right, friends, let's go ahead and review what we learned. We found the missing difference in a compare problem using a model. You may log off, boys and girls, and I will see you later. Bye.